Good day viewers. I welcome you to Codeverse channel. Here at Codeverse, we code our way into the future. What we do here at Codeverse is that we teach you about website design and development. We teach you how to code. We also teach you on any contents that are related to technology. Once again, welcome. If this is your first time of coming to this channel, please I urge you to subscribe to this channel and turn on the notification bell to always get notified whenever we post any content that are of relevance to you. If you have not also followed us on any of our social media, please you can do well to also follow us on any of the social media platform that you see on your screen. Now in today's video, I will be showing you what hosting and domain is all about. Now remember that in the previous video, I was able to explain to you some of the terms that are actually used in website design and developments. And I believe that you have gone through that video. If you have not gone through that video, you can just check through our channel to get that video and watch it. So you get to know about the terms that are used in web development and all that so that you will not be at loss. Alright, now let's get down to today's video. I'll be showing you what a hosting is all about and I'll be telling you what a domain is also all about. In this video, you're also going to be learning and um, how you can purchase your hosting and domain and some of the things you need to know while purchasing or while choosing a domain name. So let's head down to business. Now in this video right now, so let's look at what um, a domain name is. Now many a times, like I explained in my previous video, I said that domain name is just like an address you give to your friend to visit your house. Your friend who doesn't know about your house, then you give um, your address to that person, then the person is able to visit you. So that is a domain. A domain is actually an address that leads people to a website on the internet. So you can see that it's explained here. A domain is an address that leads people or directs people to your website on the internet. Now, ordinarily, or let's just say in computer terms or in computer um, environments, now a domain name is actually denoted by digits, by series of digits. It, it could be like this series of digits. Do you get that now? But because we are not able to cram or memorize digits figures, so that is why they come up with these domain names. These domain names is memorable. It's You can remember it even if you just wake up from your sleep and they ask you, okay, what is the name of that website? You you are able to remember it. Take for instance, you are able to remember facebook.com. You are also able to remember youtube.com because they are now use, using name for it instead of numbers, instead of digits, just like that. So that is what a domain name is, a representation of that IP number. Now take for instance, now we have different uh, domain name. For instance, uh, we say in my, what I say here, codevase.com is a domain name. YouTube.com is a domain name. Uh, we also have this one here, NigerJobsNetwork.com is a domain name. We have gg.ng is also a domain name. We have jumia.com.ng is also a domain name. We have bbc.co.uk. It's also a domain name. Now there are many millions and billions of domain names that are available on the internet and this domain name they are as accessible through your web browser now your web browsers are softwares that enable you to have access to the internet like chrome mozilla firefox brave browsers um what do you call it again opera browsers and so many other browsers that we have they enable you to access the internet now a domain name consists of two main parts actually it consists of two main parts now the first part is known as the second level domain also known as sld sld second level 
domain second level domain now the second level domain is actually the name given to that company let's take for instance now a company has hired you to develop a website for them so now the name that they give to you the name of that company is the second level domain so the name of the company could be codeverse codeverse is the domain is the second level domain do you get that right now is the second level domain now they have given you that one now so you need to now go further to look for the top level domain that they want or that the company has asked you to work for them so that is why we have the two parts the second part of this domain where we have the tld which is known as the top level domain now the top level domain are the names that appear just after the second level domain so the name appears just immediately after the second level domain just immediately after codeverse the name appears so take for instance we have co codeverse like this so this is the second level domain then the top level domain appears immediately after it and we have millions of top level domain on the internet and there are still more to come we have one song like dot com just like this so this dot com is the top level domain and we have so many of them we have the generic uh, top level domains that is the gtlds which are like dot com dot org dot net dot info dot com stands for commercial dot org stands for organization dot net stands for network dot info stands for information dot biz stands for business then we have dot name we have dot pro dot mobi dot travel dot museum and so many others now we have millions of them which i've just li listed few of them now all these are known as the top level domain now there are some cases where you have a country top level domain a country top level domain for instance you visit uh bbc let's say bbc.co.uk now the top level domain here now is the uk that is the country top level domain that is this one here the country code top level domain every country have their code their code just like we have uh, in phone numbers we have the us have plus one the nigerians they have plus two three four and so many other countries all countries have their normal country dialing code then also on the internet all countries also have the their abbreviations for domain names do you get that right now so we have like for instance we have dot us dot uk which is united kingdom dot ca which is canada we have dot ng which is nigeria so we have some websites that will come like this you have you see it with dot ng it's meaning that it is a nigerian based website then if it comes with dot uk it's meaning that it is a commercial website based in uk that's what the dot com stands for a commercial website based in uk we also have many others let's look at um this one gg.ng gg.ng this dot ng signifies nigeria meaning that the website is a nigerian based website so all countries have their top level domains so you can also attach a country top level domain to this particular top level domain where you have um dot com which is a top level domain then where we have dot uk which is a country code top level domain so you can attach the two together if you want so do you get that right now so we also have the other ones like um dot cn which is for china dot rou which is russia then we have other uh, domains which are sponsored top level domains all these ones are sponsored for instance dot gov there are some websites that you visit that they have dot gov as their extension as their domain name extension and the dot gov are mostly used for government entities for government enterprises then we also have dot edu that is dot edu which is educational purposes we also have for military which is dot mil so all these are used for uh, for a specialized organization or a specialized government 
entities. We also have other uh, GTLDs, which is like dot app dot blog dot shop dot tech dot store dot website and so many so many others now we have all this um this top level domains and all that so it's all dependent on the one that you want to use and the one that the client actually wants you to use some of them may want you to use dot com some of them may want you to use dot com dot ng some may just want you to use dot uk some may want you to use dot us it's all dependent on the one that the client actually wants you to use so now you see now that the the top level domain and the second level domain are not actually complete until they come together do you get that now so they until they come together you cannot just um, bring up a website and call it code vase there must be a top level domain attached to it whether it is dot com or whether it is dot net or whether it is dot tech so there must be a top level domain attached to the name of that domain so now what is the importance of domain name now domain name they actually play a very important role on the internet for instance they are used for branding purposes for instance you want to build up a startup you need a name and you want to have a website for it you need to have a name for it so they it brands your company it brands your organization it gives it it gives it an astounding outlook different from other uh, organizations that don't have a domain name another importance again is that it is very easy to remember just like the way i said before you cannot actually remember the digits the series of numbers backing up any domain name but when the names are used it is very very easy to remember and how it is easy, easy for it for people to remember it's very important that when choosing a domain name you choose name that is actually very simple and very easy for people to memorize and for people to always remember even when you tap someone and you say i wake up what is the name of that domain name the person can quickly remember the name of that website do you get that and so when choosing a name or when choosing a domain name if you are if it is for your own personal use you will have to choose names that are very easy to remember don't choose a lengthy domain name that people will have to type and type and type and tap before they begin to begin to have access to the website you choose name that is very short and concise preferably you should choose maybe like two two words Two words meaning like uh, for instance uh, two joint word like for instance we have code vase code vase is two we have code and vase is two so don't choose names that are very very long very very lengthy people cannot really remember it and even if they want to start typing it it becomes too cumbersome for them and it is also advisable that when you have a client who wants to build a website and they give you a very lengthy name you can always suggest to them that it is very good to choose a simple name it is very good but in case they decide to use the long lengthy name it is still um, okay for them you can go ahead with it so it is very important you take note of the name you are choosing make sure it is very very simple and straight to the point and also describe what the website is all about because you need something that will be more convenient for your users to always access on the internet say for instance we have facebook.com we have twitter we have uh, for instance so many other names that are very simple and short and they have maybe two syllables or three syllables maximum so you need to take note of that now another uh, importance of domain name is that they reflect the company or the organization identity they reflect the company's organization uh, the identity and their purpose so there are some names that when you pick them up it actually tells about that organization it actually tells about what that website is all about so having known about the importance of uh, domain names there are other places there are places uh, portals where you can actually purchase this uh, domain names of which in the course of this video i'll be listing out some of them now let's head over to what is um, hosting now like i said before hosting is like the storage house a housing that contains all the files all the documents blah 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 about 
your website you know when you are building a website you put in this document you put in this picture you put in this test you put in everything that you know you put in inside that website so what houses it what um what houses it is that hosting so it is the practice of providing storage space computational resources and services to make website application and other online content accessible to users so if there is no hosting the the website users cannot access any content on any website so hosting is very very important and if your hosting is bad then the hosting will not be able to provide uh, content to the users it will not be able to serve the users the content that it wants to serve them so hosting is very very important and we have different types of hosting now we have the first one which generally most persons use which is called the shared hosting the shared hosting now in shared hosting for instance now take for instance now this is uh, this is my barrel here right now then we have this to be um a shared hosting now shared hosting here is that different website owners they depend on this particular viral to serve information to serve information to users so this is a server this is a server that is able to distribute um, resources to other website owners so in this case here right now you are not the only person who have access to this particular um, hosting ser uh, service other users other website users also tap from it also tap from it so that is why it is called shared hosting the server is being shared to multiple websites to different websites owners so likewise the the cpu the ram and the storage space all of them are being shared the advantage of the shared hosting is that it is it is very cheap it is not that expensive and it is what almost everybody uses i personally i also use shared hosting dependent on the kind of project that is involved i use shared hosting very very well so it is very uh, it's less expensive and it is easily to be managed by the hosting provider as well as the web developer now the the the, the 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 disadvantage is that it has just limited resources why because everybody is tapping resources from it all other website owners are tapping resources from it so that is why it has limited resources now the next type of hosting is the visual private server which is known as the vps hosting now the vps hosting is a little more different from the shared hosting in this case right now it's of this uh, vps hosting has its own environment it has its own environment different from the shared hosting and it has more better performance than that of the shared hosting the only downside of it is that it is a bit expensive than the shared hosting and also we have the next one which is the dedicated server hosting now the dedicated server hosting here is that for instance now i am an organization i want to develop our website so i want to use a hosting that is for us only not being managed or not being shared with other uh, website owners so the hosting is specially for me i am in control of the hosting whatever resources that is being of is accrued for that hosting it all belongs to me there's nothing like sharing i have full access and control over it and it is good when that website is having large traffic is having large traffic so if a website for instance now let's take for instance naira land naira land cannot be using shared hosting why because the number of traffic coming into that website is too much for the shared hosting to handle so that's where you have dedicated server hosting that can be able to accommodate a large number of traffic that is coming in the downside of it is that it is very expensive and it requires high technical knowledge for you to be able to manage the dedicated server 
hosting then the next one is the cloud hosting here yeah, you have your storage um, your storage your resources and facilities are all hosted on the cloud on the cloud and because it is being hosted on the cloud it has, it has a cloud storage it is very very cost it is very very cost and most times you pay for it every month you pay monthly for this uh, cloud storage and it is very cost so it's very cost now we have the next one it is pay as you go normally it is pay as you go on cloud hosting so as you as you are using it you are paying for it and uh, most uh, service providers that offer this almost all hosting company but the ones that mostly offer this you have a talk of a uh, contable contable offer it very well and all that so we have the next one which is the managed the wordpress hosting rather the wordpress hosting is a hosting that is specially uh, made for wordpress websites that does not mean that in shared hosting you cannot use you cannot use wordpress on shared hosting no you can use wordpress on shared hosting but we still have hosting that is tailored that is mainly for wordpress websites meaning that you cannot do any other kind of website there except wordpress based websites and that is the wordpress hosting so in the wordpress hosting the, ho the hosting providers they usually they are in the one in charge of doing the updates for you doing backups and security automatically so the advantage is that the hosting is optimized specially for wordpress the disadvantage is that it is only limited to wordpress websites then we have the last type of hosting which is the reseller hosting now the reseller hosting for instance now you want to be reselling hosting to other websites users so that is to other website developers so what you do is that you 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 buy this hosting in bulk then you resell them to other persons that is what this reseller hosting is all about and most of the hostings that we have locally or regionally most of them are known as reseller hosting so they buy from top companies top registrars then they begin to sell it to individuals and to businesses so we have been able to look at this so this one is especially if you are going to into hosting uh, services going to be offering hosting services to web developers to business owners and all that now having looked at what this domain and what this hosting is so where and do we purchase them because normally it is not free you don't get them free you are you purchase them from hosting providers we call them hosting providers hosting and domain providers we have the ones that are abroad hosting we also have the regional based hosting that is the the regional based hosting so it depends on one your budget and it depends on the need that you actually want so we have hosting providers like bluehost we have host gato site ground we have nameship we have hostinger we have emotion we have liquid web and so many other um, of these um, hosting company so if you come you can just check them out for instance you check on nameship then we have um bluehost for instance we have so many so many of these um hosting providers in the world we have so many of them we have nameship you can see nameship this is a hosting provider then we also have that of um, bluehost then we have the regional ones that is the nigerian based hosting we have some of them here like the nigerawebhost.com we have google host we have domain king we also have smart web q servers guarantor and so many others so when you want to do a website for a client you need to purchase the hosting and domain then while purchasing your hosting remember that you need to purchase from a very reliable hosting provider a hosting company that will not disappoint you a hosting company that will not begin to have server error a hosting company that will not begin to to bring your website down a hosting company that will, whenever you visit your website you say website not reachable your hosting 
that you are choosing should be very reliable and should be very very strong because your hosting is actually the backbone or the engine house of your website if the hosting is corrupted if the hosting gets spoiled if the hosting gets uh, uh, manipulated or hosting gets tampered with then your website is also tampered with so that is why what you should take note of why choosing the hosting company that you want to uh, purchase from then another thing again is you should also choose from a company that is um that has a good customer support a good customer support whenever you have an issue they are able to respond to you promptly without delay and they are also able to solve that issue without stressing you so we have most of them that are able to do this and for instance nameship.com is my is the, my top priority anyway followed by bluehost and hostinger their customer service is very very awesome nameship.com has a good customer service and they have a live chat that you can always uh, use to chat with them whenever you have an issue they are able to solve that issue on your hosting so we also have other hosting like the bluehost you can see that now bluehost.com we also have that of a niger web host nigerwebhost.com and so many other hosting companies that we have so what you do is you come to them then you register with your gmail we register an account with them then from there you go ahead to purchase your hosting and your domain then one more thing to take note of is that you may want to purchase a hosting for instance i'm just saying you may want to purchase a hosting from nameship and then purchase your hosting from ninja web host because sometimes most of this uh, international hosting this abroad hosting they may not have dot com dot ng that is they may not have the regional based uh, TLD, the regional base, that is the country code uh, TLD, like for instance .com.ng, they may not really have it. So what you do is you may want to buy your hosting from the abroad hosting, then buy your .com.ng from a regional based hosting. So do you get that right now? Or you may also want to buy your hosting and your domain from the same hosting company, which is also very, very good. So do you get that right now? So when you visit their website, you register, then you go ahead to make your purchase of the hosting and domain that you want. So having said all that, we have looked at what the hosting is all about, the types of the hosting and so many others. So what I will leave you with is that you should go ahead and make more research on the different hosting companies we have both internationally and regionally now in our next video i'll be showing you how you can purchase a hosting and a domain from any of these um, hosting providers that we have listed i would like you to stay tuned to this channel and please if you have not subscribed to this channel please do well to hit the subscribe button and make sure you turn on the notification bell to always get updates on any videos that we will be posting on this platform so this platform is made up of different um or uh, instructors different tech tutors who will be teaching you from time to time and i urge you to always uh, turn on the notification bell if you have not also followed us on any of our social media please do so and we'll keep in touch with you so see you in the next video my name remain harrison and i would like to have you on the next video where i'll be showing you how you can buy hosting and domain from any of the hosting providers that we have listed so bye